<clears throat> hey, um, today I'm going to give you a quick tour of setting up your Google Classroom. So Google Classroom is an online space where a teacher can post and organize lesson assignments and students can navigate to links or, and create slides or documents. They can watch a video, answer quiz questions, and even you can grade in all in one location. So to get to get to your Google Classroom, you first have to be signed in to your Google for Education account at your school email account. You see here that that's what we are. And you can click on your apps, Google Apps Launcher, sometimes called the Waffle, and you will see it down here. If it is not here, because you really haven't because maybe this is the first time you've used it, you can go into the Omnibox or the URL address bar and type in classroom. Google.com. And either one of those will get you to your Google Classroom landing page. So here is my Google. Currently, what I'm using to teach my classes with. <clears throat> um, you can see that <clears throat> all your Google Classrooms are here, the ones that you have created <laughs> and the ones that you may be um, uh, working with another teacher on or that you are a participant in. So this one I am not the owner of. Um, it's one that I did some classwork in. And these are all the ones that um, I currently teach through. We also have one from our principal, so we all tend to use this a little bit. Over here, I want to point out that you have your a menu bar here. And here's a way to get to all of your classrooms as well. Um, this is also where you can find archive classes if you had them from last year. Um, to create a class, you will click on the plus sign. It says create or join a class. We are going to create a class. Click on that. You will give it a name. Um, you name it your, try to be specific about your name so that it's So that it actually matches what it is that you're doing. If this is outside of your regular classroom setting and you're using it for a distance learning or home learning classroom, then um, you may want to put your class, your name and that. But just make sure that you have your classroom's name distinctly. I also tend to put uh, the year after them because I teach the same topic year after year. So it helps me in my archive classes to do that. Now I've already created this classroom, so I'm going to just jump in here. Um, once you've done that, you can. I want to point out that you can change the color, background, or theme. They have several to choose from. You, and this is what's called your class code. This is what your students will need to join the classroom. You can keep that on the board or you can send it through your email. <clears throat> Next on our front page, I want to talk about um, we have your menu is still here. You can get to your this landing page by also clicking on, on these letters, these words over here, and it'll also bring you back to this landing page. We have Stream, we have Classwork, People, and Grades. And Stream is the uh, first thing that it opens up to, and I want to talk about that a little bit. Stream has a default setting that will show anything that you have posted into your into your 
classwork page that um, and, and also anything that you've put on stream. So if you do not want that, and it can be annoying, and I'll tell you why in just a second, you can go to your settings for this classroom. Here you see information that you might would have filled out on and here where it says condensed notifications you'll want to hide that and I want you to notice what changes on the stream when we go back also if you did not want students to post and comment which I don't most most of us always do you could turn it off here um, but most of the time we want them to respond back to us and then this is also some um, grading uh, settings that you can you can do here. All right, you need to save that. And now you see that our my stream has has cleaned up a bit, and it doesn't have what I recently put in my classwork. It the default setting is to post whatever you just posted as an assignment to make a notification of it so that when you come to this landing page you can see the students can see exactly what the teacher has just recently posted <clears throat> but we may not always work on things in the order that we want our students to see them so it's it's nice to have that feature turned off what the stream is good for is a quick video that's outside of a lesson um, it's great for putting uh, a bell ringer type question topic at the beginning so that, you know, your group can respond right there or um, in a distance learning situation. It's also a good place where you can maybe put a message, a video message each day just to welcome your students to your classroom. So the next part I want to show you is our classwork page and this is where your assignments are also um, you will find a link to your google cloud calendar and your class drive folder and i'm going to hop over here to another classroom so that you can see in this classworks folder when students turn in their work Um, oh, well, you'll see like your assignments here that you've created and and in a particular assignment, let's see, I think this is a good one that gets did. So here in your classwork assignments uh, page is where you'll um, post your assignments. You can create assignments. You can create a quiz assignment question. You can just post materials that they can just view. Um, you can also reuse, this is an awesome feature. You can also reuse a post that you posted in another classroom, even in an archive classroom. So if you have something that you created last year, you can bring that in and reuse it, and then you can just edit it there, which is a nice feature as well. And, or you can create a new topic. So, um, I wanna talk about people as your students. I haven't had any students on here because I just made this, but I can also add a teacher here. And it'll come up and I can send an invite. So this is nice because if you are doing one for the school, for your classroom, you may want to include other um, resource teachers in that classroom. And then that way a student is not going to every different resource person's classroom page. It's all in one location. but you know, you can choose how to do that however you want. And you can also have a grades page, which I haven't put for this one, 
but you surely can do that. So that is basically what you can do in the parts of the Google Classroom. I will do another video about how to do assignments and some tips on that. So be sure to check back for that. Thank you for watching.